How is it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another Mezcal review. Got some Mezcals in the mail uh, last week, time of recording, probably a couple weeks ago, time of uploading. But um, yeah, uh, reviewed uh, Nuestra Soledad's Santiago Matatlan uh, earlier today and gonna review another one from them today. They're uh, La Chigui Matatlan. Um, it is made by Pedro Vasquez, a really, really good uh, mezcalero out there in La Chigui, uh, Oaxaca. Never been to that region, but I've had quite a few mezcals from them. Uh, Pedro Vasquez is behind uh, a lot of the El Holgorio releases. I think he's got something to do with uh, Dixbe, I think you pronounce it as, D-I-X-E-E-B-E, -E -E, pretty sure. Something to do with them, but I've had quite a few of his mezcals. I've had the Espadine, which I loved, um, the, I believe, was it Tobasish or Araquino, one of the El Holgorios, uh, I really enjoyed both of them. I've had, had a few El Holgorios now and loved them all. Um, but I had one of his from there, one of his Todos Santos and uh, uh, the Tepestate from El Holgorio made by him. Really, really good shit. Um, good mezcal, I should say. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Nuestra Soledad means Our Lady or Our Solitude. It's a uh, patron saint of Oaxaca is Our Lady of Solitude. Don't know a lot behind the uh, lore, but um, I'll have to research it sometime. Uh, really enjoy the uh, lore of um, all the patron saints and all the history behind uh, Oaxaca and well. Um, Mexico, stuff like that. Really interesting. Really bloody, lots of it. But um, yeah, 48% alcohol by volume. Big boy right here. It's produced by Casa Cortez, which uh, I believe they're distributor or producer. They bottle and distribute the uh, a lot of different mezcaleros, mezcals, from what I know. Uh, like I said, master distiller is Pedro Vasquez. Uh, this is bottle number... 305 out of 600 uh, bottles, so what would that be like? Not a whole lot of liters, 450 liter batches. Um, it is, this one was produced in 2020, so it's been sitting in the glass for quite some time. Um, I shared this with my brother and he absolutely loved it. He's not the biggest Mezcal guy, but he loved this Mezcal, and so did I, uh, from what I remember. So, gonna get this guy poured and give it a more formal review. Uh, once these uh, bottles are about, like, three quarters of the way empty, I'll do a more uh, in-depth review of all of them. And I think I want to get the... Uh, uh, Santa del Rio um, um, bottle from them as well and do that as well. So it might be quite a while till I uh, release these, but um, reviews, so yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, got this guy poured out. Let's get a sniff on him. I, oh yeah, I've been eating them with some dark, dark chocolate and some uh, uh, mandarinas, uh, cut up oranges, dark chocolate. So that's kind of my snack to go with hockey. Mezcal, dark chocolate, some oranges, hockey. It's my kind of evening. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, get into this guy. Ah, wow, yeah. First time I smelt it and smelling it again. What I get out of this one is grape crush soda. Yeah, really cool. I don't know if 
they get grape crush or any of the crush sodas in uh, USA or Mexico. I, I don't know if it's just a Canadian thing. I don't really see it much anywhere else. But yeah, that's what I got, like grape crush, milk chocolate, What is that? Banana? Not exactly banana. Cherimoya. Atamoya? One of the Moyas out there in uh, uh, Amazon. It's got kind of like a uh, more intense banana, almost vanilla flavor, these fruits. Google it, really cool. Um, have them real fresh out there and really reminds me of that yeah and uh yeah kopuasu which is another strange amazonian fruit i had it reminds me a lot of amazonian fruit um yeah can't wait to dive into this one again oh man yeah some smoke Vanilla. Almost like a smoked New York cheesecake. A little bit of that, like that lactic, uh, slightly um, funky uh, sourdough. I always describe it as sourdough, um, like a fermented kind of aroma. But really cool. Let's try it out. Salud. Oh, wow. It almost has a flavor in the background of Peruvian pisco. Um, a grape distillate out there in Peru and Chile. Chile. Um, Bolivian Singani, I guess. Uh, uh, but yeah, this certain flavor to it. It's really reminds me of grapes um artificial grapes and like uh maybe some white wine uh excuse me lime zest definitely getting lime zest um ah, wow excuse me wow a little bit of heartburn today um but yeah, uh, really cool flavors to this one. The uh, tropical fruits aren't quite as pronounced on the flavor as they were in the aroma, but um, I wanna say like a fresh pineapple, that acid um, tart kind of pineapple flavor, but also like a roasted pineapple yeah really cool this is a really unique mezcal uh i i forgot to look up the um production method of this one but uh i believe it's all espadine and if it is i'm pretty sure it is 100 percent espadine it's like a completely unique espadine i've never had anything like it um i believe i'm right on that pretty sure it is espadine um but yeah if not i'll put it in the description but i'm fairly certain it's 100 percent espadine and it's the craziest flavors i've ever had from an espadine i've had some that kind of taste like uh, strawberry cheesecake and stuff like that but uh, it still had the main flavors of an espadine this one completely different so really cool uh, it was a little on the pricey side I believe like 90 ish Canadian uh, which is price pretty pricey I'll be honest but uh, worth every penny like, uh, this one's gonna be fun to drink. Um, can't wait to see how it, 
uh, transforms in the glass over the next uh, month or two. So yeah, really cool stuff. Um, really enjoying drinking this one and giving you guys a review. So as a rating on this guy, I'd, I'd have to go A+. Plus. Like, this is one of, not the best, but most unique uh, mezcals I've had. Like, it's really, really different from anything else. I might have to go down to La Chigui, Miatuatlan. I haven't been to that area yet. I haven't been to the Mixtec areas or the uh, Northeast. I forget the name of it, but next time I'm down there, probably next November, I definitely gotta check that out. Uh, probably gonna go with Rambling Spirits again. Uh, really cool people. If you want Mezcal reviews, or if you're going to uh, Oaxaca and want a Mezcal tour, hit those guys up. Really, really cool people. Highly recommend it. But um, yeah, there we go. Anything else to say about this other than it's well worth the money? Um, I believe it's fairly inexpensive in the States and really inexpensive in uh, Oaxaca especially and in Mexico. So pick up a bottle, see what you think. If you are in Canada, uh, you can pick it up at zyn.ca. So there we go. Uh, zyn.ca, I guess, Canada. But um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching everybody. Please give me a like, comment and subscribe. And I gotta go watch some hockey, so salute everybody.